Hi, you all. Um, in case of living here, I want to talk about um, the fact that we put ourselves in the frequency of how do I want to be treated? And we put that energy out. I want to talk about what that looks like in the real world, but how at the same time, we have parameters that protect our energy field. And we don't let ourselves be so open that we let non resonant energies in that drain our energy and pull us out of frequency. There is a balance to it. And I want to take it from the abstract and talk in the practical. I want to talk in real world terms so you all understand it. Um, and I got cards today that led me to do this. And so bear with me as, as I walk you through this, because I want to try to do it in a way that's uh, not too self-revealing. Um, but at the same time, that is a very practical experience. It's about the fact that we're meant to live in abundance. We are to put ourselves in the energy of abundance at all times. I want to be, feel, and experience abundance. What makes me feel complete, whole, happy? I don't want to, I don't want to be treated. What, what do I need in my life to feel that way? I want to be respected. I want people to be kind to me. I want people to want to be around me. I want people to want to talk to me. I want people to want to spend time with me. I want my work to be meaningful. I want people to want to hear about it. I want people to want to see it. I want to, it to impact people. I want it to be financially gainful. I want it to support me. I want you know all, all these things that we want that make our lives abundant. So it's, it's the relationships. It's, I want my hobbies to be edifying. I want the way I spend my free time to be edifying. I want the person that I spend my free time with, all the people, but the, the special person, I want, I want that to be an edifying experience. I want, I want all of that. All of that is our abundance. And so first we have to treat ourselves that way. When we're alone, we have to be okay alone. That is true. We have to be okay alone. So that when we put the energy out for relationship, to have those things in relationship, and maybe we don't get them right away, or we don't get them exactly the way we ex expect the energy and expectation is, this is how I'm treating me. And therefore, that's the energy I'm putting out. Whenever we don't set up energy for energy loops, then we're not incomplete because we don't have somebody that jumped into an energy for energy loop with us. That doesn't mean we're not disappointed or even hurt or even sad. We're not to fake what, how we feel about things. Being abundant and confident and knowing your value and all of those things doesn't mean that it doesn't hurt your feelings that you put the energy out for somebody to spend time with you and they don't. But it means you're okay. Being abundant doesn't mean that when you tried for that promotion and you didn't get it, that you're not, well, maybe even just a little bit miffed that the guy that got it really didn't deserve it as much as you did, but you're okay. And you understand that it was level of consciousness and the energies, et cetera, et cetera. And it's not personal. And you still feel abundant. It does, doesn't affect you and your self-worth or any of that. You pull yourself up out of that denseness. You don't stay in miffed. You understand it's about the energy of it. And somewhere in the midst of all that, the energy of it did not work in your favor. You don't make it personal. You recognize the energy of it. And you stay in your abundance. You're okay. You're healthy, whole and complete. And you pull yourself back up to happy because of it. You're okay. So that's what being in abundance is. Now when it comes to 
the energy we put out, once we put ourselves in the frequency of our abundance, once we're okay with ourselves, we reveal what needs to be seen. We put out the energy that we need to put out. Now, some of us have a tendency to be too open with our energy. We're open to everyone. This is me. Come on in. And they can be hard to hold the frequency of your abundance because not everybody accepts you or not everybody is sincere. And so you think you set up an energy for energy loop and it's not. You're giving and they're not. And then you have to pull your energy back, call your energy back to yourself. Except that it's not personal. It's just an energy thing. It's non-resonant energy. They don't have the energetic bandwidth, something, level, level consciousness. Reduce it down to what the energy of it all is. And you stand in your abundance. It has nothing to do with your self-worth. You hold your frequency. But when you have very open energy, when you reveal a lot, that happens. Now, if you don't reveal enough, you're very walled up. And there's nothing coming in. And it's just you. Now, some think that's the safe way to do it. It's not. When it's just you, that's all you've got. And you don't have any energy coming in. You can't be in an energy for energy loop when you've got your walls up like that. And abundance cannot last in that situation. That's what the universe had to begin with. The universe had itself and it replicated and replicated and replicated. And finally, it's like, I've got to have the universal law itself, sacred geometry itself, turn to co-creative because we, we, can't, we can't sustain ourselves off of just ourselves. We are a relationship creation. We are energy in motion. We are emotional beings. So abundance isn't totally self-sustaining. So we really can't build walls. We're not islands into ourselves. We do have jobs and family. We do have relationships. We are always in relationship of some sort. So we can't, we can't say my abundance is that I have all these walls and perimeters and it's just me and I don't let anything in. No. We have to learn how to have energy for energy relationships. Even those of us who have decided to be the most walled and most guarded, the most focused. We have to know how to have energy for energy relationships. We form these family circles. Now, family, societal programming has taught us loyalty to the family circle to the community, to the church, to, to who society dictates we are supposed to be loyal to, to the type of work that the family's always done. We've always been doctors. We've always been lawyers. We've always been policemen. We've always been firemen. This is the family business. This is, or we are farmers or people like us don't go off and live in other places or people like us don't have highfalutin careers like that, or people like us don't marry into people like that, or that kind of stuff. So, so societal programming has taught us to do all kinds of stuff and call it family. People like us don't mix with other people. All, all, all kinds of stuff has been wrapped up into family. So, no, your abundance is you reveal for yourself, what do I call family? What do I want to be, feel, and experience as family? 
what is home and family to me? There's some of my adopted family there checking on me. We determine this, not societal programming, not our ancestral DNA imprinting, not this is what we've always done. This is your lineage. None of that. Not trauma drama. You have got to do this. If you don't, we'll disown you. Oh my God, my self-worth will be gone because I'll, I won't have, I'll be disowned. Who will I be? You'll be you. You'll be just fine. You are you. You choose this circle. The circle does not determine who you are. You determine who the circle is. Yes, there was a circle that brought you into the world and helped mold you and all of that. But there's a point where you started thinking for you, where you started listening to your heart mind and hold on a second. I feel this. I want to experience this. I want to be this. And this group, <laughs> they don't match. And you have the right, the obligation to be true to your heart space, to take sovereignty of self. And you create this circle. You reveal it from your heart space. So it matches the abundance that is you. So you're in frequency. This is how we are in the earth, human, in the world, but not of it. We're not tied to how it's always been. We're part of everything here. We're human. But we're here in our uniqueness, in our abundance. We're our own energy field. And there's all these other circles, but we're our own energy field. And we're holding that frequency. And we have our own tight circle. And then we expand it a little bit, let a little bit more, we reveal a little bit more of ourselves and a little bit more of ourselves and a little bit more of ourselves. But we're careful how far out we go with that because we want to maintain the integrity of our field and what we let in close around us is much smaller. So we can do that. This, what we let in the inner circle and what's out here in the outer circle, very different. We want to do that based upon what our heart space is telling us. We want to be open, though, to our abundance. That's how our abundance grows. The way we grow in self-worth, the way we become expansive in what we can feel, in what we can be, and what we can experience, is by being open, by being closed, but the universe just replicating and seeing itself all the time. It was expanding, but it wasn't seeing anything any different. True expansiveness was co-creativeness. See, this was still, even though it was expanding, there's still just one circle. Well, this has light circles that are kind of coming up, but they're still... They're not really doing anything any different, but open to abundance. This is the infinity sign. It's two circles that cross and coming out of that unicorn energy, unconditional love. True abundance comes from Energy for energy loops, unconditional love. They don't come from this. This is not balance. This is. 
And it's not two, it's two with a third. Unconditional love, the third dimension of relationship. You see, the one circle wants you to <laughs> reveal everything. It wants you to be in the world, totally, and of the world, totally. It wants you to take this and let it all be engulfed by it. But no, no, that's not, that's not what we do. That's not abundance. Abundance is stepping out of the group of people that think, oh yeah, come on in here. Come in our tight little circle where we're controlling you and you have to do this to conform. You have to conform. And yeah, it's going to be happy. Oh yeah. When you're following the rules, when you woulda, coulda, shoulda, so we can do the shame, blame, trauma, drama game. Then smile. Yeah. And everybody knows. And we're determining your abundance. Yeah. No. For you to be, feel, and experience life from your heart space. It's like this. We're open to abundance. It's an energy for energy loop. Your whole and complete and your abundance. See all that abundance. And everyone you're in relationship with, every type of relationship, your job, your friends, your family, your significant other, your children as they grow up. Whole and complete. See, two birds. Whole and complete. Flying off. Whole and complete. They're whole and complete too. There's this place that meets in the middle. That's the relationship. And out of all of this is coming unconditional love. We do not place conditions on relationship. Abundance means I'm me. And I don't expect you to be anyone but you. I don't come to you and say, I love you. Now change and be this list of stuff. And you don't come to me and say, I love how abundant you are. I love all your abundance. I love that you that you are. Now here, be this. That's what this does. This, this kind of circle. This, oh, here we are. This is what, this is what the world is supposed to look like. Come step into this. No. It's like this. And because you've done that, you get to shine and be happy, healthy, whole, and complete. But you have that third space where there is a relationship, where when you need support or when you have something to offer that's supportive, there is that space to do it in. And where there's that space for what you cannot do alone for that to happen in because the two of you are drawn together for those reasons. The magnitude is there. The, mag the magnitude, the magnetic draw is there. Magnetism is there. You are drawn to that job because you are in alignment with that job. It's the right fit for your abundance and theirs. You're with the right friends because it works and it feels good. You feel abundant. Your self-worth is not trampled on. You come away from the exchange feeling uplifted and energized, not like, thank God that's over. When you leave work and, you've, and it doesn't mean you're not tired because you worked. It doesn't mean you're not tired because you did things with friends. But that emotional, oh my God, that was exhausting. You don't want that. And the same thing with our most personal of relationships, our intimate relationships.
Now, how do we get those? It's a little easier with work. Sometimes we have to pick jobs that maybe don't meet all the criteria we would like. It's getting better. It's getting easier. There's more entrepreneurship. There's more understanding in the workplace about these concepts. It's getting better. Friendships, people are, are talking more in these terms. People are getting wiser about, you know, I, I don't have to be friends with them. They're not, if there's not an equal give and take here, I don't have to do that. And a lot of people are not getting into relationships until later in life, even until they know themselves and they know how to hold their frequency. So they don't let someone else pull them out of frequency. So they don't become someone else to hold the relationship. Well, it's not really who I want to be. It's not really how I want to act. It's not really how I feel, but it's the only way I can keep the relationship. So I'll do it. No. You, you may grow together. You may discuss how to grow together. And what abundance is to you may change because you're choosing to grow together. Yeah, I, I, I do see that. I do see that I'm starting to feel that. I do, I do see that as a path I want to go on. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's, yeah, you may, you may do that. Or you may see that one of you says, you know, I'm, I'm growing in this direction and it still works, even though the other one doesn't. You can choose to agree to disagree or agree to, well, okay, you're going to spend energetic bandwidth on that and I'm going to spend energetic bandwidth on that, but we still have lots of, of this and, and this. So it, it, it works just fine. But our intimate relationships, we self-sabotage ourselves in two ways. We either get into intimate relationships and we totally give up our abundance we totally give up the what do I want to feel what do I want to be what do I want to experience to try to get someone or keep someone or please someone Or we just don't get into the relationships at all because we don't think it can work. We're not open to them. Well, I've been there, done that, and it doesn't work. What level of consciousness were you in at the time? What level of consciousness were you in at the time? Because something didn't work once doesn't mean it won't work again. Now, how do we try different relationships, whether it's friendships, intimate relationships, going back and seeing if we can mend things with family and friends or the church we used to belong to or whatever. Reveal what needs to be seen. So you have someone that you really care about and they rejected you. You believe there's something there. You get yourself in your frequency. And then, if you see an opportunity or you, you want to take the opportunity, you reveal what needs to be seen. You open up the parameter of your energy enough this is me. This is, this is a frequency I'm in. This is what you can expect of me. I'm reaching out to you. And you wait and see. Do they respond with energy for energy? And only do energy for energy. Don't overly open your energy up. If you over open your energy, it'll be, well, this worked before. 
So we got them. We'll treat them exactly like we did before. We got them. So you can't do that. You have to hold your frequency. And you have to show them, no, this is what I require, is energy for energy. Now, if we can do this, we got a relationship. Because I know me, and I value me, and I value you just the same. So when you will put this energy into me, I will put it into you. And I even am willing to take the first step. I'm willing to reveal who I am and say, this is what you can expect of me. Because regardless of how you've treated me in the past, what kind of societal programming, what kind of expectations you had, what kind of ways you did or you did not treat me, I know how I want to be treated. So I treat myself that way. And that will treat you that way. So I'm revealing that to you. I'm reaching out. I'm making the move. But don't overdo it. That's, that's the key here. That's the balance. For people who tend to open their energy up too much, that's the part we have to learn. There's all sorts of ways we self-sabotage. There's having the walls up and thinking, well, there's no need. It's never worked before. Not going to try. I don't need anybody anyway. Self-care is keeping my walls up, et cetera, et cetera. It's not. But then there's opening your walls up so much that you, you give. And they seem to respond. So you're, oh, everything's great. And you just go right into being you and letting the walls wide open, letting the perimeter all the way down. You show them all your cards. And they're like, yeah, we got her right where we want her. She's right back in the, in the circle here. No, I'm holding my frequency. I know my worth. I'm staying in my abundance. So that way, if you stop being an energy for energy loop again, I'm still okay. And I will be okay. That is the lesson that over givers, that those of us who open our energy up too much have to learn is how much to open our energy up and what are true energy for energy loops, who we can trust, what we can trust, and what we can't. And we have to trust ourselves that we're in frequency, that we are in true energy for energy loops. We have to learn to trust our heart space. We have to stop listening to the mind the mind will talk you out of what your heart is telling you. The mind will tell you that this is the safe thing because this is what it's comfortable with. This is what it's known. It's programmed to this and it will pull you back to this time and time again. When the truth is, this is heart space energy. This is abundance energy. But the mind will be like, that's got a freaking unicorn in it. They're not even real. That's not true. Don't do that. That'll never work. Don't even try that. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Mm -mm -mm. Don't do that. No. Old patterns of behavior. Einstein. It's insane to keep doing the same thing and expect a different outcome. Follow your heart. 
get in the frequency that you want to be in. How do I want to feel? What do I want to be? What do I want to experience? Where do I find that? What circle truly holds that? I'm going to put some energy out there. I'm going to reveal enough, not too much, but not too little. No walls. The right parameter. I'm going to be in the world. Not of it, but I'm going to be in it. And I'm going to see that's an energy for energy loop. If we get to be both of us whole with this unicorn energy here, this unconditional love thing going. Is this a transcendent person who knows what that means? Who doesn't expect me? Who's not going to hand me a list and say, oh yeah, you are perfect. You are perfect for the job. You are perfect to be my friend. You are perfect to hang out with us. You are perfect to be in my life. Here's the list of the things I want you to be. This is my list of expectations of you. This is my list. No, they just see my abundance. They see me. They see me saying, this is what you expected me. And they're like, oh yeah, and we love every bit of that. Or at least 90% of it. That's what you look for. And the mind's going to be screaming, there's a freaking unicorn in there and they're not real. And you say, shh, you're not programmed for this. We've not done it yet. But we're going to shine doing this. Come on. We're going to shine? Yeah. And while the mind's all, Ooh, we're going to shine? That's when you take that leap of faith. Because abundance starts with finding it in your heart space and getting yourself in that frequency, but then putting it out, trusting yourself to reveal just enough. And having it with others. It's not magical thinking. But when you do it. It's what makes life magical. No mistake.